The year is 2020, and it is the first year that San Diego Comic-Con will not be around. So I decided to make this video to showcase the 10 things that you miss or may not miss about SDCC. So number one on our list has to be the badges. The Comic-Con badges are all unique every year. They've done a lot of The Walking Dead. It's the very first thing that you do get when you arrive here at Comic-Con and really gives you that Comic-Con spirit. Number two on our list would have to be the big ol' bags. Now these bags are really cool because every year they do change it up and they have multiple choices, multiple selections for you. And they're mainly used to just hold all of your other freebies that you'll get here at Comic-Con. And if you didn't like the design, you can find a friend and then just switch out with them. Number three on our list has to go to the cosplayers. The cosplayers are just people in costume having a great time. They really bring the life to Comic-Con. It feels very, very cheery, very, very lively. Hell, even the adults love it, especially if you see like a really, really good cosplay. You're going to want to take a photo with them. It's just a really fun part of Comic-Con. Number four on our list is kind of a funny one or an interesting one, however you want to take it. But it's actually the religious people at every curb of the sidewalks here. Now, every Repent. year at Comic-Con, these guys come Repent. out telling us that we're sinners, Sinner. telling us that Comic-Con is a big Sinner. old sin. But you know what? You got to give it to them. They're here every single year of Comic-Con. And Comic-Con would not be Comic-Con without having someone yell at you, telling you you are a blasphemer. Repent! So number five on our list would have to be the trolleys. The San Diego trolleys all get really involved. Each and every trolley would be covered up in some kind of promotion, like last year they had it covered up in the Simpsons. It's really fun, real artsy, but now we're back to the normal boring red. Number six is gonna be the lines. Comic-Con should be called Line-Con sometimes, more specifically when we're talking about Hall H. If you're a hardcore Comic-Con goer, you'll know that the Hall H line lasts for ages. People are out there camping for days just to get a sneak peek at what's to come in the movie industry or even just to get a little bit closer to the actors that you truly admire, the directors you truly adore, and things as such. All right, so number seven would have to be the Nintendo Lounge at the Marriott. God, I miss the Nintendo Lounge. Number eight is actually meeting celebrities. One of the points of waiting in those long lines at Comic-Con is to actually get a meet and greet with your celebrities. Some of them are by chance, some of them you're just able to if you're early enough, but it is a life-changing experience when you're actually able to meet someone you truly do have fandom for. Oh my god, Stan Lee! Number nine, the city of San Diego. The entire city as a whole really gets together during Comic-Con. Local businesses will change up their menus, giving you some Hulk burgers, maybe some low-key tacos. And then at nighttime, the clubs and the bars are all going to be Comic-Con related. They're going to have some comic themes, cosplay contests. The entire city as a whole really gets together and it's just a really fun time with really great vibes and really great people. All right, guys, and finally, at number 10, the thing I'm gonna miss most about Comic-Con is being with my friends and family. Experiencing Comic-Con is really fun, real crazy. After a long work week or a long work year, this is a great place to escape with your friends, have yourself a good time, get into the nerdum, and just really enjoy yourself. With COVID being around, unfortunately, we can't do it this year, but I am hoping that we can do it again next year. I do miss everyone that I used to hang out with during these times. I just miss Comic-Con as a whole, and I hope that we can experience it again someday soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and leave some comments down below and let me know if there's anything that I missed that you really do enjoy about Comic-Con. Hopefully see you guys Comic-Con 2021.